When it comes to web hosting options, there isn't really a perfect one or best one to be honest. It all comes down to personal preference, your goals, and what kind of website you actually want to build. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over my personal top five web hosting options, talking about the pros and cons of each one. I'm only gonna give about the, the five most important pros for each of them because they all pretty much have the same unlimited features if you go the more expensive plans. But guys, before we get into this video, if you could please, if you enjoy, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel and I, had, I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe as well for more future content if you're interested in making money online and entrepreneurship. That's what my whole channel is about. So ring that notification bell as well to stay on top of my most recent uploads. And guys, in this video at the end, if you could please leave a comment let me know let me know what are your favorite web posts what experiences you've had with them and let me know what you think of my list as well so guys without further ado let's get into this video so the first web post that i want to talk about is my personal favorite one i want to put it right at the start because yeah it is my favorite one is the one i primarily use and that is bluehost you've probably heard of bluehost it is recommended by wordpress okay it is one of their three actually recommended web host and that's because the function it functions perfectly with wordpress okay so bluehost is ideal for bloggers entrepreneurs and wordpress beginners if you are just starting your wordpress website this is going to make it really really easy for you and i'll get into why when we talk about the pros and cons in just a second so the pros of bluehost guys are number one they have free site lock cdn to helpful and responsive live chat support and uh, that is no joke guys their support is some of the best that i've come across when it comes to web posts um they are second to none with with their support it's instant it's live very 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 fast and very helpful too automatic wordpress installation like i said this is going to be perfect for beginners that's just starting out with their wordpress websites it's just like pretty much a one click and your website is installed on wordpress guided website creation for WordPress beginners as well guys again another reason to go with Bluehost if you are a WordPress a beginner and they also have automatic WordPress plugin and theme updates okay so everything about w Bluehost works and functions perfectly with WordPress like I said that is why WordPress actually recommends them as the web host and the prices for this one guys they start off if you use the links in the description you're gonna get a discounted price and they're gonna be around 395 the prices change quite frequently so make sure you check the link in the description and see what prices they are right now but at the at the time I'm recording this video they're about 395 per month so yeah without further ado guys let's go into the cons of Bluehost so when it comes to the cons guys there aren't many at all okay but one is it requires the more expensive plans if you want unlimited everything okay you're gonna have to pay for the more expensive ones it's not gonna be 395 per month then but even the more expensive plans which are the ones I actually recommend guys the prices aren't that much different they might go up to around 795 per month it is not much more at all what's that two dollars extra per month it isn't completely worth it um, so don't worry about the price because it's not much different less control over automatic data backups and finally you can't use both HTTPS and SiteLock CDN. All right, and the second web post that I'm gonna to recommend to you is A2 Hosting. So A2 Hosting is ideal for fast web hosting. They have some of the best speeds that you can possibly find. Uh, it's really good for WordPress websites as well, just like Bluehost. It's good if you wanna make a blog or a business website too. So let's get into the pros of A2 hosting. They're gonna be server rewind data backups. Okay, that's gonna be free for you. 99.9% .9 uptime. They have some of the best uptime that I've seen on a web post. I re haven't really had any problems whatsoever with downtime in my experience. That's because they have such high numbers right there. Optimized WordPress environment. Like I said, this is gonna be really good, just like Bluehost is for a WordPress website. So any beginners, looking to start a WordPress website, A2 hosting is another really good option for you. 
They run on solid straight drives and they also provide hack scan for perpetual security. So guys, let's get into the cons. Uh, oh, also this one is about 395 per month as well, around the same prices as Bluehost. All of these different ones, guys, they all have around the same price, okay? There's not much difference whatsoever in the prices, just a few bucks per month difference. And the cons of A2 hosting are gonna be it will require the more expensive plans for unlimited. Uh, if you want all the unlimited stuff, you're going to have to pay for the more expensive plans, just like everything else. Server rewind backups also require the, SIF, the Swift or Turbo hosting plan. That is the more expensive plans as well. But again, guys, like I said, don't really worry about the prices because when it comes to their cheaper plans and their most expensive plans, there's probably three, maybe four bucks difference. It doesn't make a huge difference. It's going to be like a few cents extra per day. Uh, don't worry about that. They also have Turbo Server only available with the more expensive hosting plans as well. Okay, so if you want the full speeds, you're going to have to go with the more expensive plans. The next web host that I want to talk to you guys about is SiteGround. Okay, another one of my personal favorites. SiteGround is ideal for WordPress sites once again. All of these different ones I'm showing you are ideal for WordPress. SiteGround is another one that's actually recommended by WordPress, so you can know you're gonna have no problems there. Uh, it's also good for Joomla sites, Drupal sites, bloggers, and managed web posting. So let's get into the pros and cons of SiteGround. So the pros are gonna be you're gonna get free daily backups and restores. Again, with 99.9% .9 uptime, I've never had a problem. I've never had any downtime. They're pretty much up all the time. I haven't had any problems. They might have been down while I've been asleep or something like that. I'm not sure, but yeah, pretty much all the time they are up. Again, they run a solid state drives. They have staging for WordPress. So once again, it is really convenient for WordPress, really easy to use. And they also have data centers on three continents. And the price, once again, is going to be around $3.95 per month, subject to change, guys. Like I said, make sure you check in those links in the description. See what discounted price you're going to get right now. If you don't click the links, you go straight to their website, you might get prices a little bit more expensive. So make sure you check the description for those links. See what prices you're going to get. But right now, they're about $3.95 per month for SiteGround. That's their starting prices, okay? If you want their more expensive packages like I recommend you use, then it's going to be a couple of bucks more per month. Let's get into the cons of SiteGround. So the cons are going to be web space is going to be capped at between 10 gigabyte and 30 gigabyte, depending on the plan that you purchase. The managed hosting features require that either grow big or go geek plans. Once again, that's the more expensive plan. So if you want managed hosting features, you're going to have to pay for the more expensive plans. But again, don't worry about the prices. It's a few bucks difference. And that is all for the cons. So let's get into the next one, iPage. So iPage is going to be absolutely ideal for anyone that's on a budget. Okay, If you're a beginner with a low budget, if you don't want to spend a lot on web hosting, this is going to be absolutely perfect for you. They have some of the most, well, they have the best prices when it comes to web hosting, guys, okay? That's kind of the pros of iPage. Discount sale prices, like I said, their, their prices are, uh, they, they're not beat by anyone. They're so cheap. If you're looking for a web post on a budget, this is the one to go with. It's going to work well with WordPress regardless, okay? You can host unlimited sites with iPage. It's very user-friendly. It is, this is perfect for beginners, guys, okay? It's cheap. You can host unlimited sites. It's very user-friendly, okay? This graphic, they have a graphic-based control panel which is really, really easy to use. If you're a beginner, you're gonna have no problem whatsoever with this. And they also have two website builders available and they provide you with a free security suite. And the prices of iPage, like I said, it is one of the cheapest, well, it is the cheapest one. It's gonna start off at around 195 per month. Again, if you want the more expensive packages, this is gonna run you a few dollars extra. But yeah, starting off with just 195, coming in at a really, really low price right there. The cons of iPage are going to be, you're going to come across some upsells, upselling now and again, okay? Because it's so cheap, they do want you to buy their more expensive packages. And I recommend you actually do as well. Like I said, it's only going to run you a few dollars extra. 
but guys they are gonna push that on you quite often when you're on the on i page they are gonna uh, shove some upsells in your face because of the low cost you can't expect the best performance guys they haven't got the best speeds they haven't got the best anything okay that's because they are a budget web host but it is really beginner friendly really easy to use like I said, they're just not going to have the best speeds when it comes to iPage. Alright guys, and last but not least, let's get into number 5 of my top 5 web hosting options. And that's going to be DreamHost. So DreamHost is going to be ideal for WordPress websites once again, bloggers and those needing upgrade options. So let's get into the pros and cons of DreamHost. So the pros are going to be... It's a one-click software installation, really, really simple to use if you're a beginner. Again, really, really easy. They have a 100% uptime guarantee, okay? We've seen other ones with 99.9%, .9%, but DreamHost, they guarantee 100%. And again, guys, I have never had any problems that 100% has been truthful so far for me. They have a 97-day money-back guarantee, which is huge, okay? You've got over three months to decide if you like it or not. If you don't, you can get your money back very, very easily. And they also have optimized WordPress hosting available, okay? So again, this one's gonna work perfectly if you're creating a WordPress website or blog. And finally, guys, the live chat is available on here. If you have any problems, if you need any support, they have a live chat um, with DreamHost as well. That's, and the price of this one, this is another fairly cheap one coming in at about 259 per month again subject to change check the links in the description make sure the price is still the same it won't vary too much guys check the links in the description let's get into the cons of dreamhost so one of the cons is many of the extra features they're gonna cost you a little bit more money okay you're gonna get some upsells on top of this one as well that's again because dreamhost is a kind of a budget option this is one of the cheaper ones out there so expect some features to be, have to pay extra. Their premium WordPress hosting also requires additional costs and their live support isn't the best guys, okay? The live support on DreamHost, it's not the best I've come across. It's nowhere near as good as Bluehost. Bluehost is super fast, it's instant, but DreamHost, you might have to wait in a queue and sometimes I've had experiences where I've been waiting quite a long time, which gets frustrating when you wanna create your website and you know, you're having problems. So. They are the pros and cons of DreamHost, and that is my top five list right there. So guys, thanks for watching my top five web hosting options. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope this has been informative for you, and you can now make a decision on which web host you should choose for your website, okay? It entirely depends on your goals, your personal preferences, and what kind of website you actually want to build, okay? Some of the options I've shown you are going to be better for your WordPress websites. Some or better if you are on a budget it's entirely up to you which one you want to go with guys so guys thanks for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed if it was helpful don't forget to subscribe as well and ring that notification bell for future content too guys okay like i said my channel is all about making money online if you're interested in that subscribe and ring the notification bell and with this video if you could please leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of it what you think of each of these web posts, your personal experiences with them, and what are your personal favorite web posts. Leave a comment down below. I'd be really interested to know. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.